Wheel Traction Traction or tractive force is the force used to generate motion between a body and a tangential surface through the use of dry friction to the use of shear force of the surface. Traction can also refer to the maximum tractive force between a body and a surface as limited by available friction. When this is the case, traction is often expressed as the ratio of the maximum tractive force to the normal force and is termed the coefficient of traction, which is similar to coefficient of friction. It is the force which make an object to move over the surface by overcoming all the resisting force like friction, normal load which is load acting on the tire in negative z axis, air resistance, rolling resistance, and etc. Coefficient of traction the coefficient of traction is defined as the usable force for traction divided by the weight on the running gear, for example, wheel, tracks, and etc. Factor affecting coefficient of traction Traction between two surfaces depend on several factors. First, material composition of each surface. Second, macroscopic and microscopic shape or texture, either macro texture or micro texture. Third, normal force pressing contact surface together. Fourth, contaminants at the material boundary including lubricant and adhesive. Fifth, relative motion of tractive surface. For example, a sliding object one in kinetic friction has less traction than a non-sliding object one in static friction. Six, Direction of traction relative to some coordinate system, for example, the available traction of a tire often differ between cornering, accelerating, and braking. Seventh, for low friction surface such as off-road or ice, traction can be increased by using traction device that partially penetrate the surface. This device use the shear strength of underlying surface rather than relying solely on dry friction. Traction coefficient in engineering design As used in mechanical engineering, the term tractive force can either refer to the total traction a vehicle exert on a surface or the amount of the total traction that is parallel to the direction of motion. In railway engineering, the term tractive effort is often used synonymously with tractive force to describe the pulling or pushing capability of locomotive. In automotive engineering, the terms are distinctive. Tractive effort is generally higher than tractive force by the amount of rolling resistance present, and both terms are higher than the amount of Rubber pulled by the total resistance present, including air resistance and weight. The published tractive force value for any vehicle may be theoretical. 
the discalculate from known or implied mechanical properties or obtained via testing under controlled conditions. The discussion herein covered the terms usage in mechanical application in which the final stage of the power transmission system is one or more wheels in friction contact with a roadway or railroad track. The wheels will roll forward under the action of driving torque when the train is running. The wheels relative to the track produce creep as a result of elastic deformation on the wheel rail contact surface. They also form an adhesive force on the contact. It's the only power for driving the wheels forward when rolling.